Alrighty, so the first thing we're gonna do is get this cover off and then we are going to wash our boat. You can see there's some debris from a tree. We did detail this boat about five to six months ago in one of our detailing master classes here in Redding, California. It's now back for our maintenance wash, so we're just trying to get him ready for the lake. We are going to be using our boat detailing maintenance kit in this video. We're gonna clean out all the tree debris and then we're gonna start off washing all of the interior surfaces. Let's go. I use these pressure washers right here, guys, but we're not actually pressure washing the boat we're just using this as a stronger source of water when we're washing the boat we're pretty far back from the surface we're never super up close because if you get a pressure washer in a boat with this vinyl you can destroy it so always be careful with the pressure washer we want to come through we're gonna start from the front work our way back we want to rinse all the dirt out of the boat if you get too much pressure with these just take your tip off once you take your tip off you can just now have a simple water source for a little more gentle so if you're trying to get some debris off the wall just take your pressure washer tip off scoot all the debris back you can see all the debris we're just gonna kind of scoot it back into the drain and let it drain out the boat and this will stop us from having a whole bunch of debris after to have to shop back up and clean up alrighty guys we're gonna start with a rinse to get all of the tree debris out and any loose dirt so if there's any loose dirt on your boat any dust any debris go ahead and rinse it out before we do the foam can all right, now we're gonna do our foam cannon with our Shine Supply Ship Soap, and we are going to be using a Mac Shine Lamb's Wool hand mitt. I love this hand mitt because it will not scratch the surface and you can easily wash the interior of your boat. Anytime that you're washing the interior of boat, obviously do not blast the electronics or the speakers because you can make them short out. Water and electricity do not go well together. All right, so we're finished with our initial wash. We got the interior cleaned up. We use our foam cannon, the Shine Supply Shift Soap. The Shift Soap is a pH balanced soap. It will not strip off your coating and it will not strip off your wax. Do not maintain your boat with Donja soap or super clean like I do when I'm doing my restorations because when you're maintaining a boat, you want to preserve the sealants, then preserve the coatings or, or preserve your wax as best as you possibly can. So use a pH balanced soap. So that's what Shine Supply Shift Soap is. Our protectants that we did on the interior are still holding up five months later. Before we hop out, Outside. I open up all of the compartments here so we're just gonna lift them all up so that they can air dry there will be some water that gets in these compartments but we'll open them up we're gonna shop back them out it won't be an issue as long as you let your compartments air out all right now we're gonna hop to our exterior again we're gonna repeat those exact same steps you are going to blast the surface to remove any heavy dirt and then we're going to foam our exterior with shine supply ship so we're gonna take our max shine wash mitt and wash the entire surface don't forget the trailer you can use a boar's hair brush to remove any dirt off of the trailer and then you're tires and wheels as well. On the wheels we do use Shine Supply Wise Guys to clean the wheels and tires. Once you're done the entire side and the trailer you can move towards the transom and then along to the other side of the boat. We are finished up with our wash. Now it is time to dry it. We have some water beading happening from the ceramic, but we definitely don't want to let that dry on the surface. So we are going to use Shine Supply Aftermath to dry the boat faster in the sunlight and to remove those fresh water spots. Shine Supply Aftermath is an amazing product that's going to remove the water quicker. It's a drying aid. It's going to remove any hard water spots that may have just happened. As you're washing your boat, it's pretty hot out here. The other side of the boat and some of the inside is already dried. So we may have uh, just a few little water spots from the chemicals and whatnot in our water system. Every time you wash your boat or take your boat out of the water, do these steps. So you're going to spray the Aftermath directly onto the surface and then we're going to take our microfiber drying towel and dry the surface off do this every time you either wash your boat like we did today or whenever you take it out of the water if you're on the lake or in the gulf wherever you are spray aftermath on the surface and dry it off and this is the number one thing that you can do to maximize the longevity of your wax your sealants or your ceramic coatings let's go Shine Supply Aftermath is one of my favorite products that Shine Supply currently makes. It is an amazing product that is going to make drying your boat way more efficient and it's going to give you added protection and an amazing gloss. Simply spray it directly onto the wet surface, take your extra large drying microfiber towel and wipe away the water. It's honestly like magic. Once your boat is properly ceramic coated or waxed, as long as you're using Aftermath to dry your boat, it is going to make drying your boat an absolute breeze.
Now that the exterior is dried, we're gonna hop on the inside. Alrighty, so we've already gone over the aftermath. You guys know how it works. This time, because the boat's already pretty much dried, we're not really gonna use our drying towel because the boat's dried. It's about 85 degrees today, almost 90 degrees. We're gonna just take a microfiber towel, just a standard microfiber towel, and then we have the aftermath. Always make sure you have your seat cushions up because you want to make sure that you can remove any debris that's in the tract and inside of the compartment. So get all your compartments vacuumed, get your tracks vacuumed and wiped down. Alrighty guys, we're gonna take our aftermath and wipe off all of the gel coated surfaces and take our shop back and vacuum out all of our compartments, our cup holders and the seat track. We really wanna make sure that we get all of that debris out of the boat. This is where we're going to be doing our final steps of cleaning. So if there's any debris or any stains left on the surface, get them off with the aftermath and shop back any leftover debris with the shop back. Now we're going to move on to our sun setter. This is going to clean the vinyl seats and it's going to add a little bit of UV protection for the season. This is a great product. Again, if you wanna do this maybe once a month during the boating season or once every few months to kind of lightly clean the seat cushions and keep your seats protected. One reason why I love this product is it gives a really nice shine without it being like super glossy or slick or oily. It's not gonna do that. It's gonna be nice and dry to the touch. We're gonna shake the bottle up, spray it directly onto the seat cushions and get it wiped down. Let's go. All right, so we're gonna spray the sun setter directly onto the seat pretty liberally and then take your standard microfiber rag and wipe in the product. This product is going to really soften up the vinyl. It's gonna give it a nice shine and it's going to give it a nice light clean to keep the surface protected. All right guys, now that we got the sun setter done, we got our compartments, everything wiped out. We got our seat cushions cleaned up. We got our dash looking great. Now it is time to apply Shine Supply Punch It to just the gel coated areas, the glass and the metal. This is going to be an SiO2 protectant that's going to top off your existing wax. So if you just wax your boat or if you ceramic coated your boat, use Shine Supply Punch It on top of it to be protection for your protection. We're going to apply this directly to the boat. We're going to flip our rag and wipe it off in about five foot sections. Let's go. We are going to spray the Shine Supply Punch It directly onto our microfiber towel. We're going to apply it directly to the surface and then take our rag, flip it over and wipe away any streak marks. It's safe to use on the gel coated surfaces, the metal, glass and painted surfaces. All right, guys, that is officially it for the interior of the boat. We got the entire inside, front, all the way back. This is looking amazing. This captain's area, the seats came out great. The sun setter is great on the seats. It's gonna give it a nice matte finish, and you can see it's dry to the touch, but gosh, it feels, it just feels nice and conditioned. Really softens up the vinyl. The punch it on the gel coat really just brings the interior to life, and it's going to protect it. Inside's done. Let's go ahead and hop out of the boat and do the punch it on the exterior. It is a really hot day, and the surface on this black is pretty hot. We are going to spray shine supply punch it directly onto our microfiber towel and then wipe it in i would not recommend spraying it directly on the surface when it's hot just because it can kind of scorch and that goes for any detailing product not just punch it we want to take the shine supply punch it really spray it on our rag really good and apply it to the surface then we're going to take our microfiber flip it over and wipe away any streak marks let's go so we're going to follow the exact same steps as you did on the top side of the boat we're going to spray it directly onto our microfiber towel we're going to apply it directly to the surface flip our rag over and wipe away any streak marks and we're going to work in roughly five to eight foot sections at a time if you do encounter some streak marks that don't come off with just flipping your towel over it may be because your towel is too saturated you will usually need about two to three microfiber towels to do the entire application on the entire boat so just go ahead and keep that in mind the sio2 in this is super powerful it's going to make your boat repel water like crazy and it's going to give you a gloss like no other On the tires, we do Shine Supply decked out tire shine to get our tires looking great. And then we also apply the Shine Supply Punch It on the trailer to shine and protect the trailer. That's officially it for our detail. Let's go ahead and check out the final product.
Well, guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you got any value out of today's video, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and hit that little bell notification so that every time we make a video, it will pop up. And like always, all of the products that we talked about in today's video are in the description section down below. If you go to shinesupply.com and use our discount code DRAKE15 at checkout, you will save 15% off all Shine Supply products and anything on their website with our discount code DRAKE15. Save 15% off shinesupply.com. One of the best things that you could do for your boat is just to properly keep it maintained. If we did your boat or if another detailing company just detailed your boat or if you are a boat owner and you just put a ton of work into getting your boat detailed and now we want to maintain it and keep it as protected as we possibly can. It's like a good marriage. If you maintain your marriage properly and you buy the flowers and you write the love notes and you make the coffees and you do all the good husband stuff, you are gonna have a great marriage. If you maintain your boat properly and you wipe it with punch it and you dry it off every time and you take care of the water spots, well, guess what? You are going to have a happy boat. Happy wife, happy life. Well, guess what? Shiny boat, happy boat owner. Let's go.